All right, he's heading back to Washington for another two-year term. Congressman Ed Case was re-elected to Hawaii's first congressional district after defeating Republican Conrad Kress last night. And joining us this morning in studio is Congressman Case. Thanks for coming in this morning. Appreciate it. Good morning. Aloha. Now, first off, congratulations. How do you feel this morning? I feel very, very good. I mean, I think the first thing I want to say is just I'm so deeply grateful to the many people who did vote for me to continue in Congress. Uh, um, your trust in me, I just can't express my, my appreciation for that. And I also want to say to the people that didn't vote for me, my obligation is to represent you too, as I've tried to do in Congress. Uh, when, you, when you go to the U.S. Congress, you, you are responsible for your country, for your state, and for all of your constituents. And so I'm going to keep on trying to do the job as best I can for everybody. Now, why do you think voters are keeping you in Washington? Well, I, I hope and believe it's because they believe that I've tried to get the job done. I've worked hard. Uh, we have tried to deliver for Hawaii, and I think we've been successful in that. And I think also voters across the country are looking for people that actually try to solve the problems of our country as opposed to make them worse. And I, I know that in my case, I try very hard to, to find the ways to solve the problems, to work with whoever wants to work with me on the challenges facing our country. So. I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing. Uh, the voters seem to be okay with it, and, and so I'm going to keep on trying to do all of the above. Now, control of Congress still up in the air as both the House and Senate. If Republicans do take control of one or maybe both chambers, how will things change for Americans? Uh, well, clearly, of course, um, we're going to have divided government uh, for starters if Republicans do take one or both because the president will remain, will remain the president. And, and, and so um, in, in many ways, it's going to be um, a lot of gridlock because um, unless we can get together on some of these big picture challenges that we face, whether it be you know, public safety or immigration or national defense, um, we are going to see uh, one side or the other uh, really try to prevent um, the other side from getting anything done. And I, I hate to say that because um, none of us want that. We want us all to work together and get those problems uh, solved. But that, that is the reality we face. So for me, it's a matter of finding those zones of agreement, uh, those areas where you can work with whoever wants to work with you to get it done. And I think we're going to be able to achieve that um, in Washington. But um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's going to be a very messy couple of years. How do we get over that hurdle? Because everybody, we need to move forward. How do we get over that hurdle? Well, the voters have to say that they are not satisfied at all. And they said that last night. Um, there, was, um, there was one bit of broad agreement in our country, and that is that our government is not functioning correctly. It's not working. And I think that you see in many, many of the individual races, uh, the candidate that really prevailed in those races on both sides was the candidate that was less polarizing, was less extreme, uh, did express a desire to work together and so you know that has to translate over time into a better um, construct in Congress under which you can have your policy disagreements that's always going to be part of democracy but you still have to find a way to get the government funded every year to take care of our national defense to confront the international challenges like China to solve our our internal um, you know social safety net uh, strains that we're facing and so you know there is encouragement also in the election results right now because there are some lessons to be taken from that that I that I think are encouraging lessons but we've got to have more of those lessons uh, before we can actually pull this off. Now, Democrat Joe Takuda captured Hawaii's second congressional district and will be joining you in Washington. Any piece of advice for Congresswoman-elect? <laughs> well, I've been talking to Jill for a couple of months now to, to, to try to get her as set as possible, assuming that she was elected last night. I've spent dozens of hours with her personally. So I've given her a whole bunch of advice. And, you know, let's remember that um, in Washington, this is a four-person delegation out of 535. There are only four of us. We're a small fish in a very, very big pond, and we have to work together. And so... I need those partnerships, and um, you know I've only got uh, me and one other person in the U.S. House, and so it's it's in it's in my interest, it's in Hawaii's interest that whoever is elected, and now it is Jill Takuda, that they hit the ground running as fast as possible. So I think my major advice to her is that there are going to be so many things that come at you so fast, and you have to be focused on some very big picture goals, uh, and some very. Um, um, uh, essentials that have to be taken care of from the very beginning. And if you take care of those essentials in the very beginning, you're going to have so much easier a road than having to kind of, you know, react all of the time going forward. So that's what I've told her. And of course, Congresswoman-elect Joe Takuda will be joining us live in studio in our next hour for Take Two. But Congressman Case, we thank you so much for coming in this morning. And once again, congratulations. Thank you. Aloha.